Dear friends, welcome to a personalized episode of Enlighten Me. Today, we dive into the latest in AI and technology, from voice command integrations and AI-driven devices to sustainable AI models and advancements in hypersonic aircraft. Join us as we explore these innovations and their impact on our world. Rabbit, a hardware manufacturer, has announced a partnership with Eleven Labs to integrate voice command capabilities into its upcoming One Real devices, leveraging Eleven Labs' advanced tech for more human-like interactions. Set to ship next month after gaining significant interest at the Consumer Electronics Show, the Rabbit R1 will initially offer voice commands in English. This collaboration aims to enhance user device interaction making the R1 a versatile companion capable of various tasks such as answering questions with Perplexity AI's solutions, bi-directional translation, ordering services, and playing music. Priced at $199, the first batch of One Real devices is expected to being shipped already. Rabbit is nearing 100,000 orders for the device. Meanwhile, Eleven Labs, having recently secured $80 million in Series B funding, is expanding its voice cloning services despite facing challenges over misuse for generating deceptive content. The company is developing tools to counteract these issues by detecting synthesized speech. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman and former Apple design chief Joni Ive have joined forces to develop an AI-powered personal device, diverging from the traditional smartphone design. Altman, known for investing in the screenless, humane AI pin, suggests a similar direction for their new venture. Initially rumored last fall, their partnership is now actively seeking funding, targeting up to $1 billion from leading venture capitalists, including Thrive Capital and Emerson Collective. OpenAI might acquire a stake in the startup, which is also engaged in discussions with SoftBank CEO Masayoshi Son. eBay, having departed from Apple in 2019 and ceasing his consultancy role in 2022, brings his renowned design expertise to this innovative project. Today's focus shifts to a pressing issue in AI, the limitations of neural networks. These systems, dominant for over three decades, struggle to generalize beyond their training data, impacting their ability to reason and plan. This inherent limitation not only makes them data-hungry, but also raises ethical concerns. The dream of fully autonomous vehicles and truly reliable LLMs remains unfulfilled due to these constraints. Gary Marcus, a longtime critic since 1998, introduces insights from Chomba Boop, a Zambian tech entrepreneur and researcher. Bupe's analysis, based on a recent preprint, highlights the diminishing returns from current models due to their inability to extend beyond familiar data realms. The pursuit of AGI demands new strategies that surpass these limitations. Marcus, intrigued by the evolving discourse, anticipates the industry's response to these challenges. Reup, a convenience store chain, is revolutionizing rural America's fast food scene by introducing the Wingman, a robotic fry cook developed by Nala Robotics. This innovative robot is designed to handle fry baskets, roll chicken wings in sauce, and serve them efficiently using advanced AI. ReUp aims to improve food quality, save on labor costs, and offer fully customizable fried chicken, french fries, and other menu items to its customers. The company emphasizes that the Wingman can operate 24-7, without getting sick, ensuring consistent cooking quality. ReUp's founder, Michael Salafia, highlights the deployment of AI technology as a step towards providing convenient, personalized, and safe shopping and dining experiences. ReUp currently operates nine stores across Georgia, Mississippi, Florida, and Alabama, with plans for expansion. This move towards robotic kitchens reflects a growing trend in the fast food industry, as seen with McDonald's and Chipotle's attempts at automation. Elon Musk's AI startup, XAI, is in discussions to secure $3 billion in funding, potentially valuing the company at $18 billion, as per a Wall Street Journal report. 
venture capital firm Gigafund and Steve Jurvetson are among the possible investors, along with an unnamed co-founder of another venture firm. While the terms are not yet finalized and may change, these discussions indicate a growing interest in XAI. The company, launched by Musk as an alternative to Microsoft-backed OpenAI and Alphabet's Google, had previously denied seeking funding earlier this year, despite reports suggesting a valuation of up to $20 billion. XAI recently introduced Grok 1.5, an advanced chatbot competing with OpenAI's ChatGPT, available to some users of X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. Let's now switch to the ChatGPT's growing influence. ChatGPT's usage among US adults has risen from 18% in July 2023 to 23% as of February, according to a Pew Research Center survey. While younger adults, especially those under 30 and highly educated individuals, are more likely to use ChatGPT, its application spans across workplace tasks, learning, and entertainment. Specifically, 20% of employed Americans now use ChatGPT for work-related tasks, up from 8% in March 2023. Around one in five Americans utilize it to learn something new or for entertainment. However, there's a notable skepticism regarding ChatGPT's reliability on the 2024 US presidential election information, with 38% expressing little to no trust. Despite political affiliations, distrust is consistent, yet only 2% have actually used ChatGPT for election-related information. Amidst concerns over misinformation, tech companies are taking measures to prevent AI misuse in elections. And now, pivot our discussion towards startup stories. Symbolica AI is a startup founded by ex-Tesla engineer George Morgan. Symbolica AI aims to revolutionize the AI industry by developing models that require lower data, training time and costs, while achieving greater accuracy and provably correct structured outputs. Unlike traditional deep learning and generative language models that rely heavily on scaling compute resources, Symbolica employs a novel approach through structured AI models, these models encode the underlying structure of data, allowing for better performance using less compute overall. George Morgan, leveraging his experience from working on Tesla's autopilot, observed that the current trend of scaling up compute for AI development is unsustainable. This insight led him to explore structured AI models, also known as symbolic AI, which operate on symbols representing knowledge with a set of rules. Symbolic AI, although not a new concept, provides a promising alternative to neural networks, offering more reliable, transparent, and accountable models. Particularly in areas like code generation, Symbolica's models outperform existing solutions, presenting immense commercial applications. With a 16-person team, the startup is focused on creating a toolkit for Symbolic AI models, tailored to individual customer needs, including code synthesis and mathematical theorem proving. While the business model is still evolving, Symbolica plans to work closely with large enterprises, potentially offering consulting services and support for bespoke model development. Sierra, a cutting-edge startup, has developed an AI-based platform designed to enable organizations to precisely track the whereabouts and movement of their data across networks. This capability is crucial for implementing effective data security measures, whether to fend off cyber attacks or prevent accidental data leaks into large language models. The company's platform is invaluable for its comprehensive assessment of an organization's data ecosystem, including data creation, storage, and usage across diverse environments. This sprawling data landscape, often involving hybrid setups with multiple apps, devices, and servers, presents a formidable challenge in data auditing, a challenge Sierra adeptly addresses. Sierra stands out in the crowded field of posture management for its forward-looking approach. By leveraging AI, Sierra not only streamlines data posture management, but also anticipates the evolving needs of enterprise applications, particularly concerning AI's data dependencies. 
the startup's focus on safeguarding proprietary data against the risks posed by AI advancements highlights its unique value proposition. Founded by Yotam Segev and Tamar Barilan, both of whom have a strong background in the Israeli military, Sayera combines cutting-edge technology expertise with entrepreneurial savvy. With this latest funding round, backed by notable investors including KOTU, Spark Capital, Georgian, and AT&T Ventures, Sayera aims to expand its offerings and solidify its position as a one-stop data security solution for enterprises. Neurovalence, a Belfast-based startup, is at the forefront of tackling health issues like insomnia and generalized anxiety disorder, GIAD, with its non-invasive electrical stimulation technology. Following a 2019 U.S. medical device regulation update aimed at fostering innovations, Neurovalence has successfully received FDA clearance for two head-mounted treatment devices, one for GAD and another for insomnia. This marks a significant stride in the use of neurotechnology for medical treatments, with more devices, including one for obesity-related cardiometabolic risk, in the pipeline. What sets Neurovalens apart is its focus on creating regulator-cleared medical devices for specific conditions, a strategy that necessitates conducting clinical trials to prove efficacy for particular use cases. This approach allows Neurovalens to make medical claims, differentiating it from consumer devices marketed with vague wellness promises. Their products, which stimulate the brain via the skin behind the ear, target the vestibular nerve and hypothalamus to potentially re-regulate brain control centers involved in stress response, metabolic control, and circadian regulation. Neurovalence technology is unique in its method of neurostimulation, specifically targeting the vestibular nerve, which is involved in overall homeostasis, including blood pressure, breathing rate, heart rate, and fat storage regulation. This direct stimulation approach is a departure from other neurostimulation methods, such as transcranial direct current stimulation, TDCS, or magnetic stimulation making Neurovalens a pioneer in non-invasive vestibular nerve stimulation. Join us as we discuss the Hermius Hypersonic Venture, Atlanta-based startup. Hermius is pioneering the development of hypersonic aircraft with an ambition to revolutionize air travel. Unlike traditional hypersonic vehicles that rely on rocket engines and require launching from larger aircraft, Hermius aims to create planes with jet engines capable of runway takeoffs. This includes two groundbreaking designs, Dark Horse, an uncrewed reusable military drone, and Halcyon, a commercial passenger plane that could reduce the New York to London flight time from 7 hours to just 90 minutes. Prior to these, Hermius is working on the Quarter Horse series, starting with the non-flying prototype MK0 to test ground-based capabilities and moving on to MK1, which will focus on high-speed takeoff and landing. The upcoming MK2, equipped with a Pratt and Whitney F100 engine, aims to achieve supersonic flight in 2025, setting the stage for MK3 Prime's attempt to surpass the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird's speed record. Ultimately, Hermius's innovative approach could make hyperfast global travel a reality, marking a significant leap in aviation technology and transforming the future of air transportation. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Innovation Pulse. If you enjoyed our insights and are eager to learn more, the Enlight Me app is just a tap away. Expand your knowledge with personalized content on over 20 diverse topics, from crypto to health and beyond, all curated to fit your interests. Download the Enlight Me app now at the Apple Store or Google Play, or visit the enlightme.ai website. Stay curious. Stay enlightened.